Hello, my friends. My name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. Welcome to another desktop support quickie. Today, we're talking about folder permissions. This is a desktop quickie, so we're going to be going a little bit faster than usual. But this tip is very good for anybody who does tech support and deals with basically Windows operating system. So what are folder permissions? Basically, every time you create a folder, you have different permissions assigned to that folder, whether different users can modify, read, execute, uh, read, write, all kinds of permissions that are allowed within that folder for that specific user. And I will show you exactly what I mean without making it too confusing. So let's go ahead and go to my local profile. So this is my local profile within Windows, right? So you can see that it's my local profile. It's under Koboman, and this is my login for this profile, right? So if I go in here and create a new folder, right? Let's go to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Shared Folder, right? This is the folder that I plan to share with other users on this computer. So let me show you what I mean. There are other users that use this computer. So if I open this up, and I go to root C, right? go to root of C and then click users, you can see there are other users that can log into this computer. However, these other users don't have access to my Koboman, uh, which is this one, right? This is my login. I'm currently logged in as Koboman. And right now, this uh, mama user and test user, they do not have access to my local profile. This can be also um, adjusted for any like share drives. Let's say you have a share drive and you want to uh, create a folder within the share drive. You can do this and also assign permissions so that it, these other users can access this folder called shared folder. Now, let me explain this, what this means. So if I go and, and I right click my folder that I created called shared folder and I go all the way down and I select properties, right? And I click on security, right? You can see that I have some inherited permissions. This is system inherited permission and there is administrator inher inherited permission, right? And you can see that I have full permissions because I created within my local profile. I have full inherited permissions for this folder. Anything I do in there, I can delete, I can remove, I can read, write, execute, anything else. However, if any of these people that log in, let's say test user logs in, and they try to access anything within, you know, my Koboman here, let's say they go in here, and they try to make any changes in here, they won't be able to because they do not have the permission to do so, right? So let's go ahead and add test user so it has the ability to view, add, execute, read, write, or anything else to this folder. So let me go back here again. So this is the folder I want to share, and I want to add this user. Uh, I want to grant them this ability so they can you know, share this folder and they can do whatever they want with it, right? So again, I right click it, I go to properties, select security, right? And then we click edit here, right? So we're going to select the edit here. And now we're going to be able to add other users within here and grant them certain permissions, right? So if you click on that, we click on edit and then we click add, right? After you get to this window, you can see different users and we can remove them, this and that. We can't remove these inherited users. However, we can add and any, anybody else that we add in there, we can also remove them later on or change different permissions. So let's go ahead and click add. And within here, we're just going to type in test user. Now, by the way, this also works whether it's a domain user or a local user. These, are, these happen to be local users. However, if you're logged in within a domain and you do the same thing, it will find them just the same. Okay. So you type in test user. We know it's called that. It doesn't have to be case sensitive or anything like that. And then you click check names and you can see that it found this local user for this desktop name, right? This is my PC name right here, desktop 22BL699. And there's a local user called test user that is present on this computer, right? Now, if I click OK, and by default, when you click OK, it just gives it read and execute and also list folders and read, right? It doesn't give it the ability to write or anything. So if this user logs into this computer and tries to access my folder here, they go inside of here and they look at it, they can just, you know, they can read and execute, right? And that's about it, right? They can list folder contents. That's it. They can just view stuff and they can read it, right? And they can execute. So if there's executable in here, they can execute it, but they can't do anything else. So how do we add that? Well, we simply just click either full control or we can say modify, right? So if we, if we click modify here and click apply, now this test user can actually make any changes uh, to any files that are present within that folder. And uh, they're also inherited, right? They can read, write. Okay, so let's close this. Now we know that our test user is here. And the same thing, if we, look, if we click edit here, we can also remove them, right? We're going to remove them. Boom, they're gone, right? Let's re-add them again. And uh, we're going to test with another file, test user, check name, or you can just simply click OK. And then let's give them modify permissions, right? We're going to click apply. We're going to click OK. And now if we go inside of the shared folder, these permissions should be inherited, right? Because this is at the folder level. So if we create a new file here, let's call it... Uh, I don't know, let's just call it a text document, right? We're just going to create a text document. And if we go to text document properties, right? 
it should inherit all of the permissions for that folder, right? As you can see here, you can see that there's Kobuman, there's test user, and he has the ability to modify, read, execute, read, write, right? So if this um, if this test user, right? So if test user logs into my account now and goes into here, they can just simply go here and modify, delete anything they want, right? Guys, there you go. That's the folder permissions in a nutshell. Real quick, that's how quickie. I hope you guys like this. If you like this video, please like, share. If you dislike it, dislike it. Uh, comment, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much and have a good day.